Hello and welcome back to Salesforce Hulk. In the previous video, we have seen that what is data binding and how to bind data in LWC, in which we have taken the static variable and the value of that static variable we have displayed in the HTML template. Now in this video, we'll see that how to take the inputs from the user and make this whole process dynamic. So in order to take input from the user, first we need to create a UI and in that UI we need to put elements like fields, buttons and etc. But you all will be wondering that how we'll be creating those fields and buttons. That can be created with the help of SLDS. SLDS is a Salesforce Lightning Design System which is a CSS framework inside Salesforce and which allows developers to create components similar to the Salesforce native interface. Now let's create the blueprint of the UI that we need to deploy into our Salesforce org. Okay, so this will be the component and inside that component there will be the first field and the label will be name. Another field the label will be age and there will be a button and the name of that button will be submit. Now this UI we need to create into our Salesforce org. Let's first switch to VS code and start creating the component. Okay, so we'll be going to VS code or uh, create lightning web component. We'll be giving the name as an SLDS example component. Okay, so uh, as you can see, we have created the component and inside that component, we need to write the code for creating the fields and the buttons. Now, how to create that? For that, you need to go to the browser and in browser, you need to search for SLDS Salesforce. Okay, so it will be the first link that will be having all the information about the lightning design system, Salesforce lightning design system. And we'll go to that link. And on the left hand side, you can see the search bar. In that search bar, you need to search what you need to create so right now we need to create what input field so we'll be going for input um, so you can see that there is an uh there isn't some kind of an example that has been given about inputs and all those things all the information has been given and as as you'll be scrolling down there will be different states i want that every field should be required so i'll just copy the code of the required field as you can see show code and i'll copy this whole code and paste it into my component okay so uh, the label should be the first field label should be name yes so name it will be and the same thing will be there then i'll again paste the same code why because we need to have the second field that was age field okay so i am taking at age field i'm just changing the id and for to 47 to 48 and i'll change the label as well age right so this will be there uh, now you can see that name will be in the text format so input type equals to text if you want that age should be in the number format so in instead of text you can make it as a number as well so it totally depends on your requirement right so we have created these two fields now the third thing that was necessary was the button so what we'll do we'll search again go to the search part and we'll search for button and here's the button again i need to refresh it yes so it has uh it is it, it has been there now you can see that there are different kinds of examples of buttons are there neutral button brand button outline brand destructive text destructive success and all these things here we'll be choosing the blue button that is a brand button so what i'll do i'll just copy this code and go to this thing so what i've done i've put it the code of two fields initially and then one button Right now you need to do this thing and you'll save this component. After saving this component, now I want to deploy this component into Salesforce org. For that, what I need to change, I need to make is exposed equals to true and I need to set the targets as well. And in target lightning home page, the same target that we were giving in the earlier videos as well right so we have done this thing and then we'll deploy this to org so as you can see running deploy source to org and yeah now it has been done successfully so now what we'll go we'll go to our salesforce org and in salesforce org we'll go to our sales app and in sales app it is already the home page uh, what we'll do we'll just edit it We'll delete all the components uh, and we'll choose SLDS example component. 
okay and we'll save it now as you can see the two fields are their name age and the button in the button the brand button is coming so uh, we haven't changed the uh, value of it so let me change it so instead of brand button it will be submit so i have done this again i'll deploy it and if if i'll refresh it now the changes are there submit okay but can you see that what we were expecting the output we were expecting was this one that in the single row there will be two different fields and there will be a button which will be in the center okay but what kind of an output we are getting we are getting that one in one row there will be one field and the button is coming on to the left side so in order to get the same output first we need to understand the concept of grid so what is grid uh, let's suppose there is a page and this is a general web page okay so uh, what grid concept says that the a single page will be divided into 12 different columns okay and why it is divided into 12 different columns because if you will be opening this web page into different devices like mobile tab desktop laptop so automatically the content will be adjusted according to the width of that device to get the desired output we will be using the grid concept into our example so uh, let's suppose this will be the component and in this component it will be divided into two rows first and the second now first row will be divided into two columns and in that first column there will be a field which will be what name and the second will be the age okay because we need that in first row there will be two uh, things that will be there so that's why we have divided into two columns and into the last one we do not uh, need any of the column we need one row only and that will be the button that will be submit now let's implement the same into the vs code but before implementing that i'll tell you the proper steps for creating this kind of an ui so first you need to create a card like structure that will be giving you the white background into the, that component then you will be dividing that component into two parts because one part will be the of the fields and another part will be the button now first part you will be dividing in into two columns and in the first column you will be putting the field in another column you will be putting the another field and then into the another row you will be creating a button that is submit so first step will be for creating a card then using this grid and then third will be putting elements in grid so if you will be following these steps you will be able to create any kind of an ui in lws so let's now jump to the vs code and start writing the code for this particular component so we will be again creating a new component and create new lightning web component new sldes component example so i'll just close the earlier one and then we'll just go to this one now first we need to create a box so for that what do you need to go you need to go to this lds lightning design system here you need to search for box and in the utilities you will be finding the box and there you need to copy the div of this particular box which will be used to create the box inside this component so div class sldx box i'll just copy this and i'll just paste it so you can see that now inside this box what you need to create you need to create the grids right so how we'll be creating now again you need to go to sldes and you need to search for grid and in the utilities there will be a grid now you need to scroll them if you want more information about grid you can go through with this documentation otherwise just scroll down scroll down as you can see 12 column support as we have discussed already now here are the examples like 12 columns will be divided or if you if you want that the width of the column should be uh, should be more then uh, the columns can be uh, divided into that much width okay so we want two columns that means 6 of 6 so what i'll do i'll just show the code and we'll go to this particular thing 6 of 6 okay so i'll just copy this and before copying the column you need to have you need to create the row as well okay so where they have created the row i just copy this row just this code and put it here 
Now the one row has been created. As you can see, this one row has been created. And inside that one row, I need to put the column. Okay, two columns. Okay, so how we'll be putting that two columns? You need to crawl down. And here were here is the six of twelve. Six of twelve means the whole space will be divided into half. Okay, so uh, we'll just copy this and we'll just paste it. So this is the one column. Okay, and uh, same will be uh, the code for another column so this is the two columns which which we have created now into the first column what we need to put we need to put the input field okay so again you need to go to input scroll down scroll down and this was the code we'll just copy this and we'll paste into the first column okay and then same thing we'll be pasting into the uh, next column that is this i'll change the id will change the input that will be age and this will be what name so we have created these two fields uh, now what i need to do i need to create another row and i'll just copy this for making it easy so i'm creating another row this will be created now in this particular thing we need one column only so what i'll do for the column which will be having the whole width then what you will be doing you'll just copy you can just copy this one and paste it instead of 6 of 12 you'll be giving 12 of 12 okay so that whole width will be taken by this column only and for the button what you will be doing you'll be searching for button and here so there are different kinds of button as we have seen earlier only and we'll be getting this brand button and i'll just paste it and is it will be submit okay now we'll just save this whole whole thing and we'll just deploy this thing into our salesforce org after doing all these changes uh, so deployment process has been done now we'll go to our salesforce org this is the home screen we'll just edit this page and in this page we'll just delete the earlier component and oh we haven't changed the meta file so we'll make it true targets target lightning home page target and again i'll deploy this so it has been done we'll refresh it reload now we are having our component i'll delete the existing one we'll just drop this one and save it now you can see that in one particular column the two rows are there okay so as you can see the component is visible now in this component uh, there are some things that are missing that a button is not coming onto the into the center it is coming onto the left hand side so one is this thing and another thing is that background is not coming white so for that what we'll be doing for the background we need to create a css file that will be in which we'll be giving the background that is white okay so uh, or you can give uh, the style here as well and it, in this you can give background color white okay so first is this thing and another thing is that uh, button is not coming into the center so for that what you will be doing you will be going to this sLDS again and the this thing is known as alignment okay so you will be searching for alignment and here is the alignment and you can see that for absolute center there is a class sLDS align absolute center you just copy this and we just go to this uh, file and here we need to paste this class into the column uh, dev only okay so here you'll be pasting it and after paste you, you need to deploy this into the org so it has been deployed successfully done and then we'll just go to this thing and here it is so now you can see that two fields are there one button is there and that button is there into the center now if you want to give spaces between the uh, columns then you can use padding uh, that will be giving the space uh, to the elements from those columns 
सो आई होप नाउ यू गॉट द आइडिया ऑफ एस एल डी एस एंड हाउ टू क्रिएट यू आई विद द हेल्प ऑफ एस एल डी एस इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट कॉम्पनेट लाइब्रेरी एंड द सेम यू आई वी कैन अचीव विद द हेल्प ऑफ कॉम्पनेट लाइब्रेरी इज वेल